Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we'll take a look at how to draw like Uderzo and Frank Quinn. Um, this is um, a request from a subscriber and he's a fan of this uh, French-Belgian Gaston and I'm a fan too. These are very hilarious uh, comics, very lovely. Um, very cool they have um, they seem to have a simple style but we will see what we can do so this is a um, quick drawing aid and I will finish this so everybody can see how to do it him or hers herself and um, here I have Uderzo uh, an asterisk and I would love to mention that it looks pretty simple to draw asterix obelix but this is um, the mastery of form and reductionism and for this um, Gaston as you can see here I lay out it instead of the normal egg shape which Charlie Adler uses for his Negan um, in this case we have a cartoony face and a cartoony face um, works completely different like the ears should go vertically and they're horizontally and the nose instead of going vertically goes horizontally and this achieves this um, beautiful cartoony look um, that I was trying to copy like here and let me show you. I hope the camera will focus on it. And should I zoom in? I would say I don't zoom in. Let's see if I can do this. And here's the egg shape and this is the face. Um, as you can see the underlying structure is still um, forms, forms or shapes. And a great artist said, um, form before detail. So if you're trying to draw like your favorite comic book hero, um, you should try to figure out the form underneath that. And it will always be in the shape of um, something like this. Something we need, um, or maybe call anatomy sometimes, or just simplifying the form and this is like the stuff above it the simplification the style but underneath it is always a construction line always like um, forms shapes um, wireframes and yeah I'm recording this from my balcony a lot of noise out here I hope still um, this works. Good old lawnmower. And let me show you how details will add up on this page. I will just copy what I see here. And as you can see, it looks very um, easy, almost like yeah, beautifully cartoony. But this is a feat. And let me try to draw this like here the eyes then the nose it's round and the face um, gets this shape well I can can't do uh, cartoony stuff as good because I'm more um, into other stuff but as you can see, like here comes the clothing and they're all trying to silently sneak up on Gaston, this guy. And it's beautifully illustrated how they walk, like I show you in a second. And the shapes of, I don't know how Frank Quinn did it, but like they, they are all... Um, yeah probably he made some reference photos um, or 
maybe I don't know maybe sometimes um, through mastery you get to and yeah let me try this again okay so um, my advice is if you um, want to draw like your comic book heroes um, you need probably at least two skills and the first skill is to um, try to understand or create these forms as you can see this has a three-dimensional shape like um, he's wearing a sweater and but underneath this form is like this guy just walking very very relaxed here with his arms behind his back and um, yeah and then here he has the jeans and I'm not doing a great job on this one but yeah it's just like practicing if you if you want to draw like your heroes like Frank Quinn or Frank Miller whoever I think there are two skills needed the skill of constructing things and then also like cartooning things because I'm already adding the details but um, the, the script says here that these guys are sneaking up on Gaston so um, first of all you need probably the cartooning skills of how does it look how do people sneak up on another guy and they're hunched over and they have um, <laughs> something ready like they they just just a movement and then they have like a towel they want to give him and I can't even do it this great but like they're jumping around but everything says like they're very kind of silent and I hope you could take something away from this video um, yeah it's not yeah so let me show you again um, try to try to understand the forms um, the three dimensional forms underneath your um, characters and as you can see the cartoon characters have a bit a different anatomy these ones have big uh, noses and um, Gaston has a nose like a potato and look at um, how he how he moves and how everybody else moves and that's a great feat for cartooning look at these guys how they stand um, they do translate definitely into um, universal understanding but they are then cartooned down to to fit the needs of the writer viewer and um, writing or drawing comics is really a language like to write in your favorite style I think Greg Capullo said his biggest influences were um, John Buscema, John Buscema and Mort Drucker and John Buscema um, painted or drew Conan and Mort Drucker was more um, cartoon stuff and you can really see it in the style of uh, Greg Capullo so my advice is um, copy, steal, try to understand mine don't look that good but um, as you can see probably um, you can understand the underlying structure and what needs to be done see ya <laughs>